Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I am doing a special request for a baby Moana to do it about 24 inches. So I'm gonna see how much I can maximize it, but kind of keep it in that 20 some inch range, okay? Um, but I wanted to show you this because I bought this file on Etsy and um, I can give you the, the name. I just need to look it up. So it'll be in the comments, but um, I chose this one because I felt like it gave me a lot of options. Um, let's talk about each one and what I like and don't like so that you get a better feel for how to pick SVG files, okay? So this one, um, I like it, but she's not looking at us, so I feel like it's not as cute, and that's gonna eliminate this, this one, and this one. This one is kinda cute, I, I like it, but what I don't like is this leaf. So this leaf is kinda big, and it's gonna extend out, um, so it makes it a little flimsy, and the leaf has this, you know, this big cutout right here and, and here, so I feel like with the foam board, this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult to execute. So I'm gonna delete this one. Um, I mean, I like, I think this one's cute. These two are cute. I don't like this one because she's kind of looking down and her lips are kind of lost. Like they didn't do the colors and just overall, I'm not a fan. But I will say with all three images and the one before too, I like how it's broken up. So it's her legs and then she has like bottoms on and then her belly and then her arms. And then her face. So the face isn't attached to the neck. Well, this one is, but this one isn't. So that means for each one of these parts, I can go as big as 11 and a half inches, right? Without cutting a seam. So you think, and let's just round down to 10, right? So 10, here's another 10 inches, maybe another eight inches. So I could probably do this 28 inches without an issue. So that's kind of like in my head, what I'm always thinking of is, okay, if the face is 10 inches, let's make sure that everything is broken down into at least threes. I will automatically get to 30 inches, no issues, right? All right, so I think I like this one the most. Um, and it's because it's gonna sit well, and I just think she's cute, she's looking at us, so that's the one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna delete these two, and we're gonna get started. So let's look at this one, let's look at the file over here as well, okay? So what I see is I don't have a solid, oh, hold on, let me move my face. I'll move it to here. What I see on the left, the, the right-hand side panel is that Moana, the black outline, is not a solid black outline, right? So that one's pretty easy. We could just grab this and go to contour and click hide all. So there's our solid black background, okay? And then we'll grab this background. Oh, hold on, we need to ungroup everything. So um, right here, select this and then ungroup. And then we're gonna take that black background and send it all the way to the back. So send it to the back. So there's our image. We have her skin. Let's see, oh, her skirt thing, which looks a little complicated. Uh, her lips, her eyes, the pearl necklace or the shell necklace. We're gonna want to, I'm gonna weld that so it becomes one piece, okay? I don't wanna deal with however many shells this is. I, no. <laughs> uh, this is her tongue. The flower looks like it's all in one piece and then our black background. So it looks pretty good. So let's grab this whole thing and let's just go 26 inches and see what we have, okay? And I'm gonna zoom out, so give me a second. Okay, so here she is. Let's look, her face is definitely the biggest thing we have on here. Because if you look at her body, her body is, um, because of the necklace right here, it separates this arm and the belly as one piece, and then her chest is one piece, her neck is one piece, her arm is one piece. So the biggest thing that we really have is the face. So let's go to our skin and go to contour, and let's click hide all. It's gonna leave us the shape of the face. Let's see how big this face is. So the face, 
At 26 inches, we can do this, right? It's 11 inches by 10 inches. We're good. Let's grab it all and see if we can do it even a little bit bigger. So let's see at 28 inches how much this impacts the face, okay? So let's look at the face. The face is 11.788 by 10.633. Now, while you may think that we can't do it, I'm gonna move this over for a second, okay? So the way Design Space measures this is from the most left to the most right. So if I rotate this just a little bit, do you see how it changed from 11.7 to 11.58? So if I rotate a little bit more, I'm now at 11.3 and 11.1. The Cricut can cut it, there will be no seams. Okay, so that's perfect. So we can actually do this, so let's undo this really quickly before I forget. Okay, so here she is, how big is she? She's 28 inches. So I'm gonna save it at 28 inches before I forget what I'm doing. So baby Moana, 28 inches. Let's save it. And let's go back to the face and hit contour and let's bring back her whole body, right? So click hide all, then it will give you show all. So let's show all contours. All right, so now she's back to what we want. So we have everything. Let's start pulling this apart, okay? So we're gonna do her at 28 inches. She's gonna look beautiful. She's gonna be seamless and um, she's gonna look adorable. She's gonna look exactly like this, okay? So let's bring out this. So this is the flower. And I see like a little split right there. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know why there's a little cut right there. So let's go hit contour and see what we have. So for some reason, there's a cut piece right there. I don't want to cut it, so let's see if we can just weld it. We can't weld it. So what I'm gonna do then is, let's bring in a circle, because I don't want that to be two pieces, and that's what it looks like it is. So I'm gonna make this small, and I'm gonna get it in there. like that, grab the two and weld it. So now it's one little piece. It has that little cut, let me see, let's zoom in a little bit more. It's just gonna go in and it has a little divot. That's okay, I can handle that. So that's the flower, it's one nice piece. Um, let's zoom out again. Okay, let's get her lips. Arrange, send to the front so that we can pull it out. So her lips are in two pieces. What I would do is I would separate it. Uh, I mean, you don't have to, but I always separate my pieces so that I can um, use my scrap paper a little bit more easily. So when you're slicing to remove, to separate the pieces, you wanna make sure that whatever shape you use, so in this case a square, the square covers the one piece that you're gonna remove from the from the grouped piece, okay? So make sure that it's completely covered. Grab the two items and slice. So here's one, and then get rid of the slice results. We don't need that, and then here's the lip. So that's all good. Let's see, here's the, um, so here's the tongue. Oh, hold on. Uh, let's, let, let's see. See, it really wants me to do the skin. So let's do the skin right now. So let's take that out of the way. So do you see how the, this is in pieces too? So we're gonna wanna weld that and weld the finger. I don't know why that happens. I've seen this on other files before. So let's bring in our square. Let's remove the bottom from the top. So let's make this really big and then make sure that Oh, it doesn't look like I can get that to be isolated by itself. Um, I could probably do it with a circle. So this is just a tutorial full of tips here. All right, so see how this is kind of circular? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make it really big. I wanna get the whole top in, okay? So there, that covered the whole top. I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna slice. 
So that way, this is now its own little piece, okay? And then let's remove this, remove this. Okay, now with the leg, um, it's 13.5 by 5.6. So let's just remove this knee, this other leg from here, then we'll be fine. So I'm gonna separate this into two pieces and using contour. So when you use contour to separate pieces, however many pieces you want it to um, break out into, then you need that many copies. So I want this to be two. Let's duplicate this image so that I have two copies. Go to contour. And on this one, I'm going to click on the knee. I don't want the knee. So here's my leg. My leg is 11.1 .1 by 4.4. So we can cut that on the Cricut, right? And then on this one, let's go to contour. Let's hide all. I want the knee. I don't want this leg. And then there's my knee. So now this piece is totally fine, right? It goes like that. Okay, so let's look at this. This one, let's see if we can get this square in to remove the body from the face, okay? So I was able to do that. <clears throat> let's move these lips out of the way. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go down and grab these two things and slice. So now the face is separated the body separated. Let's move that out of the way and then let's remove this. We don't need that. Okay, let's look at this. This is 11.8 by 8.6. So let's rotate this a little bit and now it's fine. It's 11.2 by 8.9. But we have this problem with this finger here. So I'm going to bring in a circle I want to make sure that this is one whole piece and let's zoom in so we can see what's going on over here and where it is where is it there it is okay so i'm going to unlock this and make it really slender and get it in there for my finger make it even smaller and then i'm going to tilt it a little bit and that looks pretty good i think so Oops, here we go. And let's grab these two things right here and weld it. All right. So now we can just keep this as is, okay? Let's look at the face. So the face, we do need to rotate it a little bit because it's 11.7 .7 by 10.6, right? So let's rotate it a little bit, a little bit more. And now we're at 11.4 by 11, perfect. But let's make sure that we weld those little pieces together. For some reason, it is a separated piece. So let's bring in um, a circle. Let's make it really, really small. Maybe a little bit smaller. I think that's perfect. Let's grab that and duplicate it and put it over here as well, make it that a little bit smaller. Okay, and then grab everything and weld. Now, oh, it didn't weld that piece in. That's okay, because it's still one whole piece. Um, all right, so here's the trick that I like to use. So for the face, because there is a lot of black, I would almost use black glitter cardstock so if you do black glitter cardstock, I'm not gonna worry about this because her hair is black. Usually when a character has black hair, I usually do the whole, like I do the background um, to be black glitter cardstock. But if you're gonna use regular black cardstock, this is what I would do because there may be seams going through the eyes, the eyebrows and the mouth, right? And so we wanna make sure that if there are seams there, we, we remove them and you remove it by doing this. So let's make a copy of the face Okay, and we're going to make this black. And then go to contour and hide all. Okay, then because this is open, it didn't contour out the eyes. But the reason why we wanna do this is when this whole thing is solid black, this is gonna sit on top of it. So let me send it to the front so you can see what it would look like. So if there were any seams through the mouth, you wouldn't see it because we're gonna have that black piece of cardstock in between this and your black background okay so the way we get around this is easy let's go and bring in a circle okay and i'm kind of gonna put the circle right there to close up 
the face, okay? And I can even make it more slender so it's not so rounded. Let's do something like that, okay? Then I'm gonna turn it to the side a little bit. And I'm gonna close up this gap, okay? So now I'm gonna grab these two things and I'm gonna weld it. And I can, well, let's click on the black image, go to contour, hide all, and now we have a solid black face, right? So let's put this on top, arrange, send to the front. So any seams that we would have had through the eyebrows, the eyes, the mouth will now be seamless. And so your people aren't going to notice the seams on the edges, right? Because you're going to be drawn to her face, her cute little face, her mouth, whatever else. Um, you're not going to notice the other seams. So that's one way to make your project really seamless, okay? Let's uh, zoom back out and let's see what else we have. So her skin is all good. Now we have, okay, her eyes and the mouth or the teeth right there. I'm gonna separate this. So I'm gonna take a square and let's start removing things, slicing it out, right? So here we go, slice. I'm gonna remove that. So that's, this piece is kind of small. It's, I mean, it's three quarters of an inch long it just feels like it's small. All right, let's get the eyes. So you see the eyes is here. Um, let's slice it. So now you can cut it more efficiently when we go to the make it screen. All right, so there's the eyes. Um, here's the tongue, the tongue is all good. Okay, let's look at this. Let's zoom in. So these are the pearls and they're separated or the shells. I'm tempted, I seriously, I don't wanna deal with nine pieces like this. This is up to you. If you're willing to deal with the nine separated pieces, go for it. I am not gonna make this project, but if I were to do it, this is what I would do. I would make little small circles to connect all the pieces. So here's one, I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna move it over to here and then duplicate it and move it over to here and duplicate it. And I'm just gonna go all the way around, okay? So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'm gonna weld it. I didn't finish it, but this is what it looks like. So to me, I don't know if people would totally notice that it's one piece. It looks kind of funky, but if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, it would be fine. So let me, let me do this. So it would make your life so much easier if this was just one piece. That's all I'm saying. You try it, you do you. <laughs> but that's what I would do, okay? All right, so let's look at this skirt thing. Um, if you like the colors, I would keep the colors, okay? Um, if you don't care for the colors, I would make it all one, and then I would weld the pieces together. So for instance, let's say you like the separated colors, okay? So let's bring this out so you can see what it looks like. What I would do with this one is I would at least weld these two together. <clears throat> Excuse me, because it's just one less piece. Honestly, like when you make anything this big, you have so many cuts and pieces that you need to keep track of and to eventually tape down to your to your board. So I would take a circle, weld that there. Um, if you don't care, then you can just cut it as is, okay? Now, if you want to not separate the two colors, let's put this back. I would even do something like this. So it's a little bit off-centered, but then everything's kind of touching. I would then weld this together. So this is what I would do. Let's grab these two things and weld it. So it becomes one piece, or not one piece, but you see how these, this little arch or rainbow is now connected to this bigger piece. So that's one piece. 
these two connect right here. That's what I would kind of do with this overall thing with the skirt. All right, so now you have the skirt. The skirt technically can cut like this. This is up to you how much more you want to edit. I would make these two connect for sure. I would weld that, weld it right here just to make sure. So right here, this was before probably um, six pieces. It would go down to three pieces. I'm telling you, every little bit helps, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do one just in case um, you didn't get how I did it before. So take a circle, make it really small. Put it like right over here and you don't need to weld the whole thing because you know the the details are nice right like when you have little cutouts but if they're touching so let me do this sorry do you see how now it's touching I still have the cute little cutout and the details but this these two pieces become one piece it's just so much easier to handle so I would do that I would probably weld it right here so all of a sudden this big piece and this arch and this piece is now one right so a little circle right there um, definitely a circle up here a circle here to connect these two if you want to leave this one by itself or bring in a little piece and connect it right here this piece I would just get rid of I would go to contour and say I don't need you because it's so small and I don't think it matters to the overall image um, yep so that's what I would do with the skirt all right so now we're left with the big black image okay so let's zoom back out okay let's get rid of this all right and let's go back over here so we have this image she is 18 inches by 28, okay? So let's bring in a square. So we're gonna slice up the black image to pieces that you can cut on your Cricut. And we're using 12 by 12 cardstock. So I'm gonna use my square, it's gonna be 11 by 11. Now we could cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches. So um, in either case, whether we did 11 or 11 and a half inches, because it's seven, 18 inches across, you would need two rows no matter what, two columns. So um, I would, you know, it's very rare that you need exactly the 11 and a half inches, but I'm just saying. And so we know we need six squares, right? Because we need two columns and we need three rows because three rows would equal 33 and that would cover the 28 inches, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drop this first square here. Go to your position feature and we're gonna make everything whole numbers. We're gonna to round to the nearest whole number. So this is already at 12, so we're good. 5.889 becomes six, okay? So what we're basically telling design space is for your X coordinate, it's 12. Go over 12 units, go down six units, that's your Y coordinate, and there is the beginning of your square. So let's duplicate the square, put it really close, and then round to the nearest whole number. So 23.1 something becomes 23, 6.1 becomes six. Now we have two flush squares, okay? Hit your shift key, grab the other square. Both squares are now highlighted, and you know that because you can see it in your right-hand side panel as well. Duplicate it, because we have now a set of flush squares, right? Put it really close. So it's already at 12, 17.2 becomes 17. Duplicate that last set and put it down here and round. So 11.7 .7 becomes 12 and 28.22 becomes 28. And I'll show you the math behind it. So this one starts at 12, right? It starts at 12. 12 plus 11 is 23. And there's our next square. It starts at 23. And same thing with your x, your y coordinate. So your y coordinate is 6. So it starts at 6. 6 plus 11 is 17, and there it starts at 17. So we have six perfectly flush squares. Go to your right-hand side panel, scroll down, get your black background Moana, go to Arrange, Send to the Front, and here we have her. So I'm going to zoom in just so that we can see where the seams are going to cut, okay? So you just want to make sure that you don't have any small pieces being welded. This, oh! 
perfect. Do you see right here, her little elbow would be sliced off right here. We don't want any small pieces. We want six sizable pieces so that it's easy to handle, easy to tape, easy to keep track of. So let's move this up a little bit so that the elbow is now one piece, right? So this corner, when I slice this, it's gonna be one sizable piece. It's her leg, her butt, uh, her middle area with her hair. This is a big piece, and then this is a big piece. This is perfect the way it is. What I don't want is something like this, right? Where the tip of her hair gets cut off like that. So you don't want that. But other than that, this is looking pretty good. Now, let's see. So the slice is gonna come down here. I think we're gonna be pretty good. All right, so let's zoom back out and slice her up into six manageable pieces, right? So one corner at a time, one square at a time, and the black image. Slice, then do the middle, slice. We're just going all the way around and slicing her up. Now, if your slice button is grayed out, that means you did not pick up two items. You either picked up more than two or you only have one. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like, okay? So let's say I did this. So here's my cursor. I grab the image and the square and I'm gonna grab one more square. So when I let go, this is grayed out because I have three pieces, okay? So you wanna make sure I just grab two pieces and slice. All right, so let's move Moana off to the side and keep her in the right place, okay? So here's and this will help you piece it together. This one's pretty easy, I think, but sometimes like in my bigger pieces, I can't tell where that piece goes when I take it off the mat. And sometimes I flip it over, so then it makes it even that much more complicated for me. <laughs> all right, so here are her six pieces. Let's grab all of this. We don't need any of that and delete it. You now have Moana at 28 inches and she's gonna look amazing. So let's go to make it. Well, yeah, let's go to make it so I can show you a few more tips and tricks. So here is the white. Remember how we separated this? So you could do something like this and really make it compact and so to not waste a lot of space, right? So this is like three and a quarter by three inches. So you probably have that white glitter cardstock scrap somewhere and you don't have to use a brand new sheet. Here is the white shell necklace now if you wanted this to be white like the eyes which i would i don't know why it's a different color i would click on the three dots move object and let's move it over with the eyes and the teeth and then all you need to do is you need to shift this in just make sure that when you move things that nothing's overlapping because if it was like this this will cut out and your shell necklace and your eyes are going to be messed up okay all right, let's look at the black. This is the black face that goes behind her face to make sure that it's seamless in the eyes. So that's all good there. This is a pretty big piece. This is a big piece. Hmm. I feel like this might fit on the other one. So let's click on the three dots, move object. And I'm all about saving on my cuts because it's, Oh, you know what? It'll definitely fit here. So see, now we saved one whole sheet of paper. Um, I think that this one can fit somewhere else. So let's click on the three dots, move it, and let's bring it to this one. Does that fit? Oh, it's so close. Let's see if we need to do it this way. Oh no. It is so, so close. Um, let me double check this again. Let's see what we have here. Oh man, it's so stinking close. Um, yeah, all right. So let's click on the three dots, move object. We'll move it back to one of the empty spaces. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to the next one. Let's see. Um, that's the tongue. Here is her face. So it's all good there. Here's her body. Now this can fit somewhere else. 
So let's um, move object. Let's move it to this one. Yeah, so that fits. We have this, but then you can save it for next time if you, you know, want to save cardstock. <laughs> All right, here is her mouth. I would probably do something like this. Turn it over, get it in, there it is. Now if you want the, the mouth and the flower to be the same color, you can just click on the three dots, move object, and move it over together. All right, so here's that. And then here's her skirt. That's it! It's gonna look beautiful, beautiful. Now, the only thing extra that you may wanna do, so you can leave right now if you're happy with the way it is. What I would consider doing is doing her hair in black glitter cardstock. So if you did this in 65 pound cardstock, then I would want her hair. Um, so let's bring her in and let's just kind of look at what we have. Okay, so here she is. Okay, so, and let's make her a little bit bigger. So we know, actually let me make her 28 inches to match. And let's kind of piece this together a little bit better. So there's going to be a little seam right here. And it's going to run through her face, but her face is going to be covering the seam so that won't look bad. And let's see, it runs through her body. All right, she's going to look pretty seamless, except for this part right here. She's going to have a cut right here. So what we can do is this. So she's 28 inches, right? Let's let's do it. So I'm gonna show you what I would do. Um, first thing is on this one, I would go to this, and again, I would make it, um, no, you know what, I won't, I won't. What I would do is, let me think about this. So I want it separated right here. So let's look at this hair. Actually, can I, let's ungroup this for a second. And let's click on the black image and bring it to the front, arrange, send to, okay, so I can't send it to the, oh, there, oh, perfect. All right, so let's get rid of all of this. So grab all of that and delete it. Okay, so we actually have a really good image of her hair. So her hair goes all the way around. Um, so let's do this. Let's bring in a circle. Wherever her hair ends, we're gonna do this. Okay, so now we're gonna slice this out. And we can remove everything. So see, it ends. So we have an end for her hair, okay? Let's bring in another circle. Um, and let's end it right here where her flower is. We're basically separating the hair from everything, okay? So let's do this as well. So let's grab, we can use the same circle and flip it over so it's clean. And let's do there, okay? Oops, I have too many things going on, let's see. There, slice. All right, I, okay, I think we're, oh, okay, sorry. Let me undo that for a second. I should have just worked with a clean piece. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Let's bring in a new, a new circle. And let's separate her hair right here and make it small. So we're gonna separate it right there. Grab these two and slice. Oh, it didn't let me slice. There, I grabbed too many pieces, I think. All right. Um, okay, so let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Ah, undo. There, let's get rid of this. 
All right, so we're almost done. We need to isolate her hair right here and right here, okay? So let's go and bring in a circle and do it right here. So let's grab these two and slice. And we're almost done, okay? I know you're like, what the heck are we doing? But I promise you it's worth it. And right there, okay? Okay, and slice. All right, so now what we have left, I'm gonna move her over here. Let's get rid of all this stuff. All right, let's move her back. Let's go to contour, okay? And make it 100%. So we, let's see, let's hide. So basically we want the hair here. So hold on. So we have, okay. We don't want this bottom, we want the hair. What is this? We don't want that. We want this hair, this is the side right here. And then I think we can get rid of everything else, okay? So select everything else to remove it. And honestly, if you do this last step, she's gonna look completely seamless because all that's gonna be left is maybe an inch total if you add up everything. And I wanna say it's probably less in this case. So I know this is a lot of clicking. I probably should have hid all. All right, I'm dumb. All right, I clicked hid all. What I want is, let's go grab her hair. I want this piece and I want this piece, right? And I don't want this. I think that gave us everything. All right, oh my God. Hide all, sorry, I want the hair, I want this hair, and I want this hair, and remove that. Okay, now get out of it. Okay, so we want to get rid of this. So this is basically her hair, right, in two pieces. So let's get rid of this eye though. So we'll just go in, grab a circle, make it bigger, and get it right on the edge right there. And you can always trim this later with scissors afterwards. But just remember her face is sitting on top of this, so it will shape the hair. Okay, so let's grab these two and slice. All right, so there's that. So now her image is a lot cleaner, right? Um, okay, let's separate these two pieces. So we have two pieces. Duplicate, contour, we want, here's the bottom half of her hair, and then here's the top half. We're gonna go to contour and get rid of the bottom half. There, so this piece, oh, it's a little bit long. Okay, um, we can slice it right here. So let's bring in a circle. And it will look like a part if you see the seam. So we're kind of um, going along with the curve right here. Okay, grab these two things and slice. So here's that one part. So her hair is gonna be in three pieces. This is gonna be black glitter cardstock, okay? That's gonna go there. It's gonna look seamless. You're not gonna be able to see it. And then here's the other part of her hair. Everything's gonna sit on top of it, so it's gonna look really, really good. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look amazing. I Please tag me when you make it, you're gonna love it. She's gonna look absolutely adorable. If you have any special requests, just let me know. Either email me at ann at theuselesscrafter.com or post your comments here on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. And I'm totally here to help you. I know it's hard to learn to uh, take what you watch and then apply it to your own project. So um, you know, I like to help people with their own projects. You still need to learn because you need to recreate this. I mean, thankfully that's the only good thing about Design Space, not letting you just take my project and cut it. <laughs> um, normally it's a pain in the butt, but in this case it's great because then you actually learn how to do it. Um, and I walked you through it and I told you why to do something and not to do something. So hopefully this is all good for you. All right, see you guys next time. Thank you.